Hi friends, now I have the honor of introducing with to you Dr. Shreyas Gandhi. He is rank 82 in the November 2019 AIMS, which is a significant performance considering the number of students who appear in the November exam. To get a rank in top 100 in such a competitive exam is a big achievement. Shreyas, how are you feeling today? Thank you so much sir for the congratulations. I am feeling too great and too honored to be sitting with sir. It was always a dream to give interview with sir. And uh, it feels very great to have a rank in the topmost college exam of the country. And you know, Shesh, we were discussing that you started your journey with DAMS in your foundation years, where you yeah. did a foundation course and then you followed it up with a test and discussion course yeah. in the internship. So, how was your experience in the foundation year when you joined us for the first time? What was the experience? Yeah, like? so the foundation course is uh, the course which you do along with your sixth and seventh semester. So that is a very crucial time because at that time you are fresh from your basic subjects of first and second year. So that's the time you integrate your knowledge, basic knowledge with the clinical. So you have to establish a base for everything. So and you need to have a good source which you can revise again and again. So that way DAMS notes uh, helps a lot. So that it helped in, in my final prop also and of, of course the PD examination also. Now what was your strategy during those years like when you were in the classroom program and you would come to the class, make notes, understand the basic concepts. So what was going on in your mind that uh, what should I achieve out of these classes and what, what was yeah, your... At that time, uh, don't concentrate on MCQ point too much. Just just enjoy, enjoy the medicine you are you're doing. Just uh, grasp what you can in the class and make good notes because it's very important. In internship, you realize that the notes you made two years back are very important. Because you can't read your standard books and things again. But you need a concise part of that which will ultimately retain yourself. So that way notes helps a lot. Were you happy with the quality of coverage that the teachers did at that time and the how topics were covered and yeah, the yeah. concepts were made in the class? Yeah. 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 And now that you look back after you know being on the other side, you know, like when you you have seen the paper, you have given the exam and the, now when you look back, now, now do you think that teachers were, you know, covering everything that was important? Yeah, they, they covered almost uh, everything important in the subjects as per, uh, so you, uh, yeah, like you attend clinical postings, you should try to relate those things with that and you should be actively participating in the class. If you have a doubt, if you ask the doubt, then you will remember that th thing forever. So that's also important to be uh, actively participating in the class. Well, there's a very good point that he's raised here is that it is always a great idea to be present in the class fully and to be interacting with the teachers. In the interaction usually it may not mean that you go and really ask somebody or even when you are, you know, answering to yourself when the teacher is asking or interacting by nodding your head, whenever you are present in the class, you learn more. And I believe that that in today's scenario and in the future when the next exam will come, which would all happen at the end of final year, the joining early would become a big turning point of people who will get through the topmost colleges like he has now the potential to join AIMS now at this rank now. So all this, the starting early is a very key thing that he has done. And you know, Shens, I also want to know from you that in internship, you joined us for test and discussion. So test and discussion runs in a different format where you have a test followed by discussion. Uh, were you happy with the the pattern with which the TND goes? Yeah, so it's essential to give a test. Like if you have knowledge in yourself and you don't give a test, uh, like you need to know how to apply the knowledge. Like if you read a chapter today and you go to a clinical postings tomorrow, maybe you will see the same case patient, but you won't be able to apply it. So when you give test, you need to know that out of notes, if the teacher has shown you 10 lines, only seven or eight of those are important. And ultimately you can concise that 10 lines into a two or three line thing in your mind. So that, that comes by TND that what's the, uh, what's the, uh, what's the thing the topic wants to say to you. So that, that way TND helps a lot. And I, I feel that TND helps where, you know, somebody is trying to learn how to apply what he has understood. Like, you know, you understand a concept in the class, you make notes, but still when the question is put to you, you have to develop the ability to understand the question and then mark it right. And that bridge is crossed by the TND. You need to different. You need to have a differential diagnosis approach. Otherwise, like if you uh, uh, ever every time you see a cough patient, you will think it's pneumonia only. 
but if you if you won't have a differential diagnosis approach that i need to ask this also or this also this can be the possibility you need to read that you need to apply that that, that then only it will help you in clinics also and that is the same uh, uh, the, the concept that has now been introduced in aims as a question now in aims there's a question which would say theme cuff yeah. and there will be all causes of cuff below it and there will be some questions based on that theme some would have a dry cough some would have fever with sputum and all that you, you have to find out that what is the examiner trying to say it could be cuff it could be headache also it could be a hematological malignancy theme or a investigation theme so what he is saying is of utmost importance for a central institute like aims and pgi chandigarh that you have to know the dd like dd would also work out for pgi also where more than one answer can be correct yeah. so you have to mark all those answers possible now that you have given both aims and pgi exam uh, what uh, you know can you highlight the differences for a future candidate who's preparing for aims and pgi like what difference should his approach be uh, aims is uh, uh, aims is more of a clinical paper uh, clinical kind of paper you need to be attentive in your wards your clinical rotations uh, as well as uh, you need to know the pathogenesis of a particular disease that how that does it happen Uh, in PGI, uh, it's more about more because if they have to put a option for a particular question, then the disease is more common. They will ask common disease only, but you should know it thoroughly. Uh, AIMS is uh, uh, more of a uh, yeah more of a clinical uh, type of paper. And the even the way the question is put is different. Like in PGI, the all questions have five choices, and any number can be correct. such questions in aims would be like around 10 where you will have multiple true false kind of questions but in pj all of those questions will be multiple true false kind of questions with a heavier penalty on you and the question will be like it is like even if you understand the pathophysiology of the disease in pj they will ask you everything about the yeah. uh, from the epidemiology to the drug to the side effect you need yeah. to be thorough yeah. if, if where i feel one question more common in male or females yes and it is bilateral or what is the pathogenesis what is the treatment they last for five option about everything yeah. so more thorough you are in your entire knowledge you you will have that advantage in pgi chandigarh and more you are able to apply your the entire concepts that you learn in classes what you observe in the wards more application based will be the aims exam yeah that's right yeah and again i think the previous papers also play a role in this preparation yeah so aims as well uh, so the important topics remain same every time you will think that the you will think ki pehle teachers only say ki this question has come it will repeat that's why they are teaching you but it's not that the important topics always remain the same 3 years from now 5 years from now the topics will remain the same the pattern of question may change number of questions may change but the topic will remain same so if you are thorough with your notes you know the disease in and out then you can crack any type of question based on that like that that that's what aims wants it wants you to know some essential topics and you should be thorough with them but uh, sometimes they do throw some surprises yeah. in the topics you know uh, did you find some surprises this time in the exam yeah like this time they had uh, uh, not uh, the psm was more of a uh, neat pattern based uh, rather than the biostats the aims people usually ask and uh, otherwise the more or less the pattern was uh, the similar as the previous papers and in aims uh, another thing that is you know important for people who are uh, appearing for exams in future is that in pgi this time there were no visuals yeah. although they shifted to a cbt but they have they did not have any visuals so far but there's not a guarantee for future because now this is the first time they've gone into yeah. the computer based mode but aims the paper will feel very visual to you there will be visuals there will be videos you will have to use all your senses to integrate them yes yes so uh, it it's like it's visual based uh, many a times the image doesn't help you 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 can click uh, don't just see the image and think yeah I don't know this and skip the question just read the question the image is just there to scare you most of the times so it only helps you it won't uh, like it won't deter you from getting a correct answer yeah because the image based questions are of two types one in which the image is a part of the question you have to look at the image for one clue then get to the answer in some questions the image is there but the answer you can actually guess only by the text like in yeah. this time in aims there were questions like this yes and uh, 
were you happy with the way we have presented previous papers in e-medicos with in a video discussion form were you happy with that yeah so it it helped uh, the uh, when you read a paper you are learning only through the visual senses but when you hear it you are actually simulating a class only so you are uh, listening it to two sources so that's always helps Uh, what was your revision strategy before aims how many times were you able to revise and any comments about that yeah honestly saying uh, like i was happy that i could uh, complete my syllabus once once i would uh, i want no was not able to revise much of the uh, part i did but it's essential that uh, uh, whenever you are doing first time it you should be thorough with that the first reading should always be good how much time it should take revision should be fast but the first reading should always be fast and it's not like you have to uh, a lot of time you have to a lot of time for revision that's the ideal but uh, suppose you are doing surgery today and doing an atmi tomorrow you get hernia there also here also and if you feel in your mind ki yaar i don't remember ki kya tha surgery mein kya likha hua tha just open the book and read it then and there that way it will stick to you forever rather than revising the whole surgery book again if you read the anatomy you are doing it Do, do surgery hernia together that uh, that time only so that way it will revise also uh, very well and i think he has brought up a very important point that whenever you have a doubt try to solve it then and there only and half your battle will be won the majority of the time the mistakes are happening when we are postponing things you are reading anatomy you are feeling that i don't i don't understand hernia properly but you postpone it that okay i will see it one day and when the time comes you've already forgotten what you have not understood so that doubt remain and the examiners they know what to exploit they will exploit you at that very doubt in the exam so it is important to understand things and earlier you start more time you get to understand things suppose you are uh, uh, you are you are doing a topic and you can't open your book just google it just google and see the four first four five images there will be different images of the same thing So we will have a broader view of how things can, uh, like how diseases can look actually. So that way it will help, and you can read from the internet also, like two minutes, three minutes. That way it will it will help you. If you can't, you can't go and open your book that time. Were you happy with the doubt solving mechanism in in dams that we have with the Facebook group where the teachers keep discussing yeah. doubts? So Facebook is something like uh, I I uh, uh, I am too much on Facebook actively active on Facebook. so it or it or it waste your time every time but if you are uh, active on dams group after every 2 to 3 posts you will see a dams dams post so it's indirectly uh, studying going on <laughs> studying going on that <laughs> time so you're utilizing your, you don't know but you're utilizing your time that way so if you if you are active on facebook if you can't leave it then utilize it in a good way <laughs> and plus i think it also gives you that uh, the sense of belonging to a larger community of people uh, pursuing yeah. the same task that you are pursuing so you know you, you see people asking doubts that you might have thought of sometime but you might have forgotten all that kind of collective learning happens uh, with that mechanism if you have any doubt like you can search on the group previous people have asked the teachers have answered it so you, uh, like you get sorted it that way also What was your exam day strategy? Like, how many questions did you attempt in AIMS exam? Uh, like, I over attempt. I I think I over attempted questions. I attempted almost two eighty questions out of two eighty eight. So, uh, like, it's up to you how how much you feel confident about a particular option and. Uh, yeah. But uh, attempt more than ninety percent of the questions if you want a good rank. I, I think we have seen with all the top performers this time they were all uh, on the higher range of attempt only. It is just that uh, that there are two three patterns of questions where the negative marking is very severe. So it's good to be careful in those patterns. I feel that you know where you match the following the negative marking is high, arrange in sequence, multiple true false. But at the end of the day, it is about that day also like yeah. on that day are you clicking and are you on the best uh, is that your best yourself on that day you know when you now look back at your entire preparation do you now want to you know say when you look back and you see the how your journey went do you want to advise something to future aspirants yeah so each day is important you will feel every day ki like uh, let's leave this will do six months more Before twenty days of exam, before ten days of exam, you are thinking that, and all the aspirants are thinking that. If you are not thinking that, then you are above all those people. So just try to avoid such thoughts. Just keep reading, sleep, just do that. Talk to less people. 
and uh, one uh, one more Talking point i think significant each, people more yeah. <laughs> positive people and uh, one more point that each individual has his, has his own path so cre- here's her own path so create your own path uh, every uh, topper everyone will have uh, something different he did and what uh, do what you're best at you're doing medicine you are in a good college so you're, you're already a champion so uh, adapt your uh, like do your own way for a pg preparation it will be the best for you and you know i would now want to know from you like uh, that i i feel that you know when you you've done it with internship and i feel that there's a good message today for all interns that you have to believe in yourself that you know you'll be able to do it at first go yeah. i i have seen a lot of interns do this mistake that when they reach october they start thinking that maybe i'll not be able to do it in november i'll try to do it in may and in their mind they create a postponement instead of that you have to create a vision that i am not looking beyond november i'll be able to do it here so that you are able to intensify your efforts in the last one month so that intensification that momentum building has to happen for that exam but sometimes when we postpone it in our mind we reduce the momentum and we reduce our chances where we were actually on the bracket of winning the game any particular teachers who come to your mind today when you are now on the other side giving a interview yeah. uh, your notes are very helpful and uh, the dt ma'am notes are always the gold standard for obstaining apart from that the uh, medicine notes surgery notes ENT like almost most of the foundation classes I attended I uh, read the notes so the notes are very crisp and they are very, very helpful and uh, any particular you know topic or any particular thing that you would now want to you know maybe make a guess for the may exam uh, not as such but uh, somebody like, is appearing for may exam like suppose if you were appearing for may exam what would you not want to miss like do in- uh, surgical instruments uh, like thoroughly like they ask something new this time not just the proper instrument they ask suction bags and all so just uh, just look many pictures just read it before one day before exam suppose it might come and the ortho was ortho and uh, like radiology questions the, doesn't come much in names but this time they asked it through ortho and integration of other subjects so they increased radio part a bit this time i guess so like you should be thorough on that also and i think is brought up a good point that in, there were a lot of questions where we could not point a finger at what subject these questions were from yeah. like they would have a question which would have a x ray some pathology finding some orthopedic discussion so you have to get to the answer by adding all of those and yeah. so sometimes it becomes tricky but you enjoy doing such questions and that is the beauty of the aims exam that you have to apply what you know it's not about recall it is about applying so you will you know when you go through the previous papers and we will gradually will share the november paper with you on the e medicos so you will get to know what you know we are talking about today the paper was i think well balanced this time yeah each subject were given like proper weight as this thing i guess what well, uh, now my final questions are what keeps you motivated uh like just think that you need to make a difference to the society like even if you don't get a good exam there are many other streams many other things to do in life so don't get disheartened just give your best in the exam like don't get just demotivated 5 days before the exam care to do anything else just give the exam but suppose if your rank doesn't come good there are many other fields there are, and you can repeat also after 6 months so uh, now more or less that only any branch that you are looking forward to take yeah, yeah i am looking forward to take general surgery at teams generally let's hope for the best and i wish you all the best for your counseling and i i'm sure country will get a great surgeon in you in future god Thank bless you, sir. congratulations Thank you so much.